Hello YouTube, welcome back to the video channel today. Today we're looking over the Nintendo Switch lineup and we're going to be talking about every Nintendo Switch that they have released and I hope you guys are going to like this video because this video is going to get really fun and interesting. Here as you guys can see, I have all the Nintendo Switches right in front of me. I have the lights, I have the originals, and I have the OLED right here. And I'm going to be talking to you my experiences with them and a little bit about each of them and what they do. Now, starting out number one, the Nintendo Switch original that came out in 2017, one of the biggest staple consoles to come out for Nintendo, released and sold many amounts of them. It sold well over 100 million uh, units of these uh, Nintendo Switches. They sold so many of them, they best definitely made the bank for the buck, and they definitely have one of the strongest footholds in the console race today. Now, looking at each type that you can get, you can go to the store and pick up any one of these right now. We're expecting Nintendo Switch 2.0 to be coming out maybe later this year or in 2024. The rumors are leaking there. But it's basically a revamped version of the regular Nintendo Switch that has better hardware in it. Now, when you go to the store now today and you guys are looking to pick up a Nintendo Switch, I'm going to be talking guys to you guys about which one you guys should get or which one you guys should stay away from. Now, starting off with number one, the cheapest option you guys can go with is a Nintendo Switch Lite. Nintendo Switch Lite is this guy right here. Nintendo Switch Lite does not switch and unfortunately does not have a dock where you can hook up to the TV. If you guys know what the dock is, this is what the dock looks like right here. The dock is what you slide your Nintendo Switch into so you can broadcast it to your TV. Now, if you guys are mainly getting a Nintendo Switch for that purpose, then you're going to want to get one that can go to the TV. Why wouldn't you want that? Now, but the ones that go to the TV, like say the OLED here, which costs you almost 400 bucks plus tax, is going to round you a lot of money. Whereas the originals here cost you only $300 and you can have the, the to dock it and you can also use it... Um, you know, handheld and switch it so you can play with your friends. Now, this one on the other hand has a way smaller screen than even the Nintendo Switch original, which has that big bezel around it, but it's not as bad as the Nintendo Switch Lite. So the Nintendo Switch Lite is gonna be a lot smaller. And personally for me, the Nintendo Switch Lite is that one console I'd rather take around in my pocket with me, whereas I don't wanna take these ones in my pocket as much, mainly because they're so much bigger than the Nintendo Switch Lite. The Nintendo Switch Lite is very little and it's actually kind of uncomfortable to be honest if you're asking my personal opinion. Whereas I prefer this one because it's bigger and it just feels a lot more natural in my hands than that one. It feels like I'm holding like a pad, almost a plasticky pad, not really even like, you know, they even have grips or anything. You can also buy things like third party stuff that have the little grips on the back that really um, make the Nintendo Switch game play a lot more eased. Whereas your hands won't get as cramped as badly and you'll have a flawless game time. Now, the OLED here, on the other hand, is uh, the 2020 version of the Nintendo Switch, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But this is the Nintendo Switch version of uh, OLED. So they have an OLED screen in here and it has a way bigger, I think 11 inch screen on here. So now you can enjoy your games in a bigger screen. Like look how much bigger that is right there. That screen is nice and big. Now, what sucks about this one is that it has the same exact hardware as a 2017 Switch does. There's nothing in here that makes this better from this, whereas in gameplay. Now, you might get that nice OLED screen. It looks a lot crisp, but it's not going to be a better gameplay. Fortnite runs exact the same on both of these, and it's going to run the exact same on this one. Any game that you play is going to run exactly the same. So if you guys are getting one that wants to run better than the other, then you're not really in luck here. Even this one runs the same as this. It, it, they're all the same. Nintendo goofed it up, okay? They goofed it up. Why did they not give us better hardware inside of the OLED? That's That was their problem. But they did give us a big kickstand, whereas the, the Nintendo Switch original does not have that big kickstand. It has a little flimsy piece of crap one. Now, honestly, I do love the Nintendo Switch OLED backs, uh, the back of um, rest here. But honestly, it... They could have made this console better by adding better hardware inside of it. Honestly, that was great. If they added both for the price of one, we would have an we would have had an awesome console here. But that big screen and that uh, that uh, kickstand, they're both still really nice, and it's I think it's still worth buying in my opinion. Now, honestly, as like I said in price, you're gonna be spending a lot more with this one than you will with these other selections that you have. Now, 
if I'm going to break things these down to categories, I'm going to break it down to categories for what you are looking to buy a Switch for. Now, if you guys are looking to buy a Switch for the ultimate handheld experience, not really much for the TV docking guy, or like you're okay with the TV docking, but you're just mainly taking your Switch around with you to places, playing at the park, playing it in the restaurant, whatever you guys are doing. Honestly, in my personal opinion, I would rather go with the Switch Lite, mainly because it's small and it's very portable. Now, the one problem with the Switch, a very notorious problem with the Switch, a very monumentous problem with the Switch, is that the Joy-Cons have Mega strip Stick Drift. The worst stick drift of any console controller out there, these ones have the worst stick drift. Honestly, if you get stick drift on this thing, you're pretty much just going to throw it out and buy another one because you can't replace it because there's no Joy-Cons. Now, that really sucks for people, and honestly, I would say don't even buy the Switch Lite. Like I said, if you're just using it for handheld or you're giving it to your kid or something, that's okay. But I wouldn't even recommend this, to be honest, because this one is just not for you. It's only 200 bucks. If you save up your money a little more, you can go ahead and get one of these originals. That You have the switching platform, and you can take it around with you, and it has your kickstand, and it has the docking. Now... Like I said, these cost 250 bucks. If you're willing to save a little extra and go for that 250 price mark, you will just go ahead and get one of these. Now, you can get it for 250 to 300 depending on where you get it from. I got mine for 300 and I got another one used for a video I did a long time ago. But honestly, if you guys don't want that screen, this one's only LCD and it's not a glass screen. It's actually a plastic screen. So if you drop this thing, this is actually more child friendly than having the OLED, which if you drop it, the grass will shatter everywhere. Unless you have a screen protector, it will hold it. But honestly, for me personally, I don't think that the Switch OLEDs or the Switch Lite or the regular Switches here uh, can beat the performance on the screen as the Switch OLED. Now, if you guys are big for the specs and big for pretty, pretty screens, then this one's the way to go. Save your money some more and go ahead and get the Switch OLED. The thing is beautiful. The screen is very reflective too, you guys can see. But the screen on this one's very nice. Now, before you guys buy a Switch, you must buy a, a screen protector with your Switch. I'm sorry. If you don't have a screen protector with your Switch, all of my screens here are protected. If you guys do not have a screen protector with your Switch, you guys are not playing it safe. Now, whereas my Steam Deck I have connected to my desk over here, pardon. I have my Steam Deck connected to my desk. I don't really need a screen protector because that one basically just stays on my desk in, hand, in docking mode. And I have my other 256 gigabyte model I take with me places. So honestly, yeah, you guys with these ones, if you're planning on taking it places, then get a screen protector and do the right thing. Anyways, let's move on to the next thing. So if we're looking at gaming with the Switch, I honestly wouldn't say it's a bad experience. I personally do love gaming with the Switch. And I love being able to play all the fun exclusives that the Switch offer like Zelda and Mario. Now, honestly, the Switch uh, OLED here definitely does look a lot better and you get that bigger screen. So there is some cons and there's some pros. The cons is, is the hardware is exactly the same as the 2017 edition and it's a 2020 model. And the, the other con I'd say would be... Um, Honestly, I'm not a fan of OLED, and I'm going to be honest with you. Um, if you guys do like the OLED stuff, like we always, we know in the PS Vita with the OLED screen, burned out, and the screens can burn out on these consoles if they give them long enough. They will burn out, and that's just a given. Now, it'll take some time, but it will happen eventually, where in a couple years, you're, you'll start having screen burn. And for some people, that's not really a fun thing, so they'll just stay with the Nintendo Switch, this the Nintendo Switch original, because it's just well, it's the same exact hardware, right? Um, but I do love the Nintendo Switch OLED, and I think the colors really pop on the console, and I think the better kickstand was a mega upgrade to it, because now playing tabletop mode, take our Joy-Cons off right here, playing tabletop mode is one of the best things ever because you don't have to deal with that tiny little screen anymore. You can deal with a nice big screen and have that beautiful looking OLED colors pop in the, in the screen. So uh, loading times on the Switch, exactly the same. Like I said, same hardware. But if we want a little game called Cuphead's here, I'll just show you guys a little of the gameplay with the Switch. Um, and maybe you guys will consider because the Switch OLED is a very solid system. But like I said, the hardware really kind of puts it off so you know um now this one on the other hand it also has the bad kickstand on the back but it does have the bigger fan vents on the top so that's the to see with the bigger fan vents on the top here which actually is very nice um 
So they have the bigger vents on top, which is really nice because air circulation on these things are very much needed because they're so little and the heat will destroy it. So the bigger fan vents I think was nicer on top, whereas this one had the tighter ones. I can show you guys right here, the tight vents there. Doesn't really, doesn't really make much of a difference, but I do prefer having better air circulation in any console because of, you know, just the longer life of the console is what you want, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and just check this console and see how it plays, and we're going to move on to the original, and then my light is charging a little right now. Unfortunately, it's out of battery. I didn't even know it, so we're going to check that out. So I personally do prefer the tabletop mode because I like being able just to sit at my desk or sit, you know, at any table and just be able to play it with a friend if I wanted to. I've actually played this game with my brothers at the table with the Joy-Cons because you can put the Joy-Cons like this in each other's hands and play with them like that, which is actually a very nice. Now, um, the Switch OLED, the screen is so nice on here, I do have to admit, because it's just bigger and for playing with other people, especially in tabletop mode, you want as much screen room as you can get. And having screen uh, room is very nice. Um, so go ahead and load into a game in here and just so you guys can see a little bit of how it looks. It looks very nice. Now, in person, it looks a lot nicer than what you guys are seeing on the screen, unfortunately. But another problem, you can see all the glare on the screen. You can see the glare kind of sucks on this. And it's out of glass. So you're gonna get a lot of, um, you're gonna get a lot of glare, guys, which can be very, um, which can suck very bad if you guys are trying to play against like a window or something. Um, um, but yeah, that's definitely not what you guys want to be doing with this, is having that glare because it really can confuse you and mess your game up if you guys don't, or you guys aren't prepared for it. So I do warn you, there's a lot of glare, whereas the LCD screen, the plastic one, there isn't as much glare in it. You also can get the anti-glare screens too if you wanted to. But yeah, there's a lot less glare compared to the OLED since it is out of glass. But if you guys are done playing with that tabletop mode, like I said, you can always put your um, you always can put your thing back on your uh, system like this and go ahead and go play it in your hand somewhere and um, use it like that. So yeah, which is also very nice. And I do think this console, this console will not be that bad for you. Now, like I said, the hardware really lacks on it, and you won't be able to get that good hardware. But there's a lot of other really good things that you do get on this console over that one. Now, moving on to this console here, the Nintendo Switch LCD uh, Original Edition. Um, turns on, it has the same exact hardware and the specs as the OLED, but it doesn't have that glass screen on it. And you can see the, uh, the look of it is a lot, a lot brighter. I'm going to turn that brightness down. You also don't want your brightness up on the OLED all the time because that would also burn it out. But yeah, you can just can see, even just see the difference in the screen. The screen definitely looks a lot better on the OLED than it does on this one. So yeah, it, honestly, guys, it don't they don't work bad at all. Even the LCD one works pretty good, and I tend to actually use this one more than my OLED because I have an OLED like usually connected to my TV the most, and it really honestly doesn't really do too much for me. But yeah, that's pretty much what it what it does and what it looks like, and I honestly think that both of these consoles are good consoles. Now, unfortunately, I have to update pretty much everything on this darn Switch because I haven't really used this one too much in the lately. I haven't used any Switch, honestly, lately. I've been playing a lot of Steam games, and I've been playing a lot of Xbox games lately, so I haven't really touched these consoles. Now... We're going to want to pull out the little tiny light and show you guys a little bit about the light. Here's the light, guys. The light, unfortunately, has 2% battery, so I'm going to have to make this one looking quick. Now, this is the light. It's the very small one, the very dingy one, the one that no one really likes. Everyone hated at first because of how small it was. But the light is actually not too bad, honestly. I know I've been trash-talking earlier in this video, but honestly, I do have to give a little warmer heart to it because the console is not that bad. Um... It does, it does have some downsides to it, like that smaller screen and the non-switch, and you can't even dock the darn thing, and there's no there's no uh, mods you can buy to dock it. it Fortunately, it's just what it is, and that's what it's going to be, but like I said, it's not that bad of a console, and I do think it does have some, uh, you know, expectations for it, because I do think that the mobility of this console is so nice. I really do think the mobility is so nice. As you guys can see, this is, this is the size of it. It fits my pocket so much nicer than it does on the other one. 
can see like it just slides in my pocket and it's almost like the size of a phone honestly those gigantic phones they have out now these days it's pretty much what it's like and i do really do like that whereas you know a console like your oled for instance look how much bigger it is than the other one it still fits but it's a lot bigger and a lot clunkier whereas this one does it's a lot smaller and it's a lot more um convenient for your use so now that we have all the switches laid out here um i'm gonna give you guys my final conclusion and my final um thoughts on all of these systems here sorry about the camera shook and i'm gonna tell you guys one thing the Switch OLED is the best screen out of all of these, by far. The Switch LCD is probably the middle ground of all these switches that having that uh, ability to dock it and use it on the go and switch it is a very nice thing. And you got, of course, the little tiny light, which no one really likes, but people that like to take this thing handheld everywhere is a good choice. Now, here, these are my three things I'm gonna be dividing it into. I'm gonna be dividing into portability i'm gonna be dividing it into a uh, display and we're dividing into um accessories now this one apparently can have the less accessories this one's your travel on the go switch this one is your docked switch if you're gonna have a switch that stays docked it would probably be this one this one will be your nice go this won't be the nice go one because of that beautiful screen and that and that large bezel that small bezel on here, it's actually going to be very nice. So those are pretty much my three conclusions about all these. Honestly, I played with all of them quite equally, and I do love them all. And I think they're all really good. But the option is up to you guys. What do you guys prefer? You know what? Let me know in the comments down below right now which one, which console you guys would want out of all these. And give me your thoughts on each one of them. If you guys have anything to say about it, you know, let me know. Also, um... There's going to be a future video coming up where I'm going to be doing a cool different type of unboxing type thing. But I want you guys to stay tuned. So if you guys could please, please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell to get all the latest notifications on my channel. That would be awesome. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful and blessed day and I'll see you guys in the next video.